You know, I was going through this day thinking, man, they're not going to announce anything, right? Tomorrow's a big day. Today is just like a nothing day. You know, today's a hype day. Today's like, all right, whatever. I guess we'll just wait one more day. Yay. I was proven wrong. We just got the biggest announcement yet. I am mind blown. I just watched this entire thing. I'm, I'm going to go explain it real quick. First of all, I don't know what this is, but this does not look like a regular animation. I'm pretty sure this is like in the game. I don't know who this is. Probably an operator. First of all, look at this. I don't I don't know why we thought the UI was going to look similar to MW 2019. That's just dumb. This looks incredible. Here's how like the little creator class section looks kind of on a house to call it. It feels low-key like a mesh of both like the old days and the new days. Like this gives me Call of Duty Elite vibes in like a weird way. Bro. Okay, hold on. First of all, I think this looks way nicer than like a it used to. The old gunsmith, like from Mario for 2019, even from Cold War. Cold War had a pretty rough gunsmith. This looks miles better. This looks so nice. That is for the receiver. You have. Okay, the, the receiver thing's a bit weird. I still don't fully weapons, understand it, is, but. Once you get to a receiver unlock within your first weapon, that's when you unlock another weapon. All right, so this part is pretty easy to understand, but some people find it confusing, so I guess I'll just explain it real quick. I don't know what receiver is like defining essentially i don't know if that's like actually like a part of a gun that i just don't know about because i'm not a big gun guy but basically when you get unlock a receiver you unlock a new gun so this means that like leveling up and just like unlocking new guns time after time you unlock a couple guns at base i think and then you have to level up those guns to get the other guns so effectively speaking i think it forces you to use every gun to like unlock every gun which honestly i'm not against that i have like a dumb homo sapien brain like when i join the game i'm like hmm what's the meta weapon i'm gonna level that one up but this forces you to use every weapon I, I really like it i'm gonna be honest and those modifications that you have already unlocked for the previous weapon now work on that weapon too this is also pretty dope uh this is what we've been looking for because the grind for unlock everything just for one weapon is kind of insane i'm so fucking mad i can't play weekend one i'm so upset so the receiver for the assault rifle will remain for that assault rifle but if it's a receiver for the wait a minute oh wait are these like different like transformations of the gun maybe i'm stupid for that assault rifle so they're like different versions of that one gun like modeled uh, i kind of see why people say they're confused this is weird lock every single attachment on each weapon i like i like that though what this does is it shows you that one grip that you unlocked on the first weapon is now usable on a different weapon within that platform and you don't need to re-unlock that weapon i'm joel emsley mm. we are introducing or a system all right this is cool they also showed this like earlier today i thought i would just have to make like a whole video about this but i guess not at its core the vault system unlocks every attachment and allows you to equip any attachment onto your m4 platform that share the same aesthetic it this is interesting it's like it's very convenient but also i will admit it's like a little pay to win right like you just pay money for a weapon vault i guess it's called and then you just unlock every attachment instead of like working through it like it's less of a grind sure but like you're still paying to progress faster i don't know it's not as bad as like the supply job era but nah. it is an improvement over regular blueprints though like if you like change the attachments you won't just destroy the gun oh this is interesting by the way the ars have no names i mean this is clearly like a dev build right like look right here ar underscore mic 4 underscore v1 plus i don't think they're like trying to like reveal what the guns are yet experience. but just find that kind of funny firstly shock charge oh is that a shock charge hey perp oh holy shit i didn't even notice this what the fuck Wait, go back. What the hell is a perk package? And the shock stick. What is the shock stick even? That's not a shock charge, right? Surely. That's interesting. Just to clarify, I'm not recording Mario for 2 because I'm like obsessed with it again or anything like that. I'm just recording it because the last time I recorded Mario for 2019, my shit broke every time. So now I'm just scared to record it. Dude, I'm so pissed. I wish I could have gone to PlayStation, but no, I just had to get scammed. Oh, well, whatever. I guess I'll just like grind the hell out of it on weekend too that's fine i forgot what else they announced i think it's just the weapon vault thing like they announced that like earlier today but like before the literally like the entire gunsmith what the fuck i did that i've completely forgotten every single other announcement wow this guy's using the peacekeeper what a masochist did i download a new ios 16 update on my phone it's pretty cool but like i use an iphone 8 so like i got basically nothing out of it also whenever you change it's like one of those cool little like earth dynamic wallpapers or whatever <gasps> there's a firing range yo holy shit all right so it's certain weapons that like share the thing i don't know i'm so so confused about that Christ, there are so many announcements now apparently people are like data mining like the pre-install thing apparently both ps4 and ps5 have an fov slider so that means last gen still gets fov that's not a huge thing i'm um, vanguard and black ops cold war are the same thing i think i, I mean I'm, I d definitely vanguard i'm not sure about black ops cold war to be honest maybe it didn't i know vanguard i don't know if it'll be slider the third person field of view option no third person what the fuck that was a thing i wonder if people are actually gonna play that oh yeah we got the beta startup sequence i should i should just play myself fuck this server 
Dude, I missed so much. I guess Reality UK posted this. Treyarch. Wow, that's funny to look at on a Modern Warfare game. Alright. The fuck is that noise? I, I was expecting like the <coughs> thing, you know? It still looks fucking sick though. I mean, yeah. Damn. Alright. Yeah, they got the firing range. It, it's People are saying it's like the Advanced Warfare one. I've already been recording for long enough. I got nothing else to say. Bye.